So today I'm bringing you loot from going for the Soul Wars pet. Now I was grinding out Soul Wars whenever I wasn't feeling too well. I did get sick and it did knock me on my ass, but I am back at it and we can now get back to making some videos. So the way I did this is I would grind for enough points to buy me 20 or maybe 21 spoils of war and then I'd open them up. Part of me wanted to save up all the points and just open them all up at once, but I didn't want to run the risk of getting the pet like on the first crate and then I would have, you know, I would have spent all that time here when I could have just left after the first KC. So that's why I did it in groups of 20. Now overall, I'd say Soul Wars was pretty enjoyable. I actually had a pretty good time here, but uh, towards the end it did get a little repetitive as a lot of things in RuneScape get. But um, yeah, it was pretty fun. You'll notice that as we swap between the 20 spoils of war that my gear does change. I did decide to settle on the Justiciar towards the end. I found out that that was the best for me. And I also brought the Den's Bulwark since I did get focused quite a bit during these games. Also, at the time of making this video, the Den's Bulwark hadn't been nerfed yet. So it was definitely a very good item to bring. Now I wanted to make sure that I kept the cost of supplies very very low so the only money that I actually spent was on bolts but even then I tried to use the melee setup for most of the fights. I would only switch to range if I got frozen and I wanted to fight back uh, but again most of the time I made sure that I didn't use those bolts when I didn't have to. Now if I ever come back here it'll just be for collection log stuff like the soul cape and I think the ectoplasmator if that's the name of it I forget what it's called and when I grind that out I'll most likely bring a mage switch as well just to have some fun make it a little bit more fun you know switch between all three combat styles and um, hopefully by then I will have an Ellie because that's really the only upgrade that I was missing from this setup uh, I would swap out the dragonfire shield for the Ellie because the Ellie makes you extra tanky but at the time of recording this, Ellie's are currently over a bill, so yes, very, very expensive. Now, while grinding out these spoils of war, I couldn't help but realize that this is very, very good for Iron Man. It is a pretty easy minigame to play, that there's not much to it, and you get a whole bunch of different supplies. So if you're an Iron Man account, this might be a good method of obtaining some items. Like I said, this did get very repetitive, but again, the minigame isn't that hard. Um, as far as strategy goes for obtaining the most zeal, you kind of want to try and do a little bit of everything. I made sure that I killed uh, the ghosts that roamed the graveyards for some spirit shards. I made sure to turn those into the obelisk. I made sure to capture graveyards in different zones. And of course, I made sure to attack the avatar whenever it was weakened. If you do a little bit of everything, you can pretty much guarantee yourself the 60 zeal if you win, or the 40 zeal if you happen to lose. I found that whichever team controls the obelisk, they are more likely to win the game, because really what you want to do is make sure that you control the obelisk so that whenever you put the spirit shards in there, you reduce the avatar's defenses by quite a bit. If you turn in shards when you don't control the obelisk, you don't really reduce it by that much, so you want to make sure you have control of that. You could also bury bones to raise the defense of your own avatar, but I found that it's really not that worth it unless there's a bunch of bones just scattered all over the ground to pick up. Um, killing the wolves just for, you know, a bone to raise up your avatar's defenses by 1% just doesn't seem worth it. I'd rather spend my time killing the ghosts and lowering the other team's avatar's defenses. Or, of course, just killing other players. Attacking other players and keeping them off of zones will also help towards the zeal. Now besides the setup you see me wearing here and the dense bulwark that I brought with me, I also had the armor crossbow for range and I brought the dragon claws for the special attack. I did mess around with the armadillo godsword for a little bit, but I found the dragon claws were a lot more fun. It's pretty satisfying when someone's attacking you or someone else is attacking one of your teammates and you just go in for the double claw rush and get the kill. And with that being said, we are approaching the last amount of crates that we have left to open. So I'll go ahead and be quiet now and let the live commentary take over because I did kind of call it. All right, pet, I can feel it.
There it is. Oh my god. Finally. Nice. I got it. <laughs> I actually got it. Oh my god. I say finally like if it's been a very long time. I mean, it, it has been a long time, but technically uh, I'm still under drop rate for this. So yeah, some people might get mad if I say finally, but um, oh my God, it's, it's, it's so nice having this guy out of the way. As fun as Soul Wars is, I was getting kind of burnt out on it. And uh, yeah, th this is just, this is very nice. So the loot tracker says 171, but I think I've gotten like four extra ones. So it took me about 175 crates to get this. Oh my God, this is so awesome. I, I, I love this pet. I, I absolutely love the look of this pet. Oh man. It's also kind of funny. I think this is like the first time that I've opened it uh, not on the world because I just logged in to open up the crates that I had left over. And uh, so yeah, not it. Not, not at... <laughs> No one was able to see this like message pop up, but that's fine. I'm very, very, very happy to have this this pet. Let's go ahead and open up the other crates that we have. And there we go. Those are all the crates. So we've opened up 183 crates and the loot tracker shows about 16 mil in loot. So definitely not bad. Most of this is profit, just pure profit. Uh, the only money that I actually spend is on the Dragonstone bolts, but even then I hardly use these. Um, I just bring it just in case I get frozen. Uh, I don't want to just, you know, stay there frozen. I want to be, I want to be able to fight back. Uh, so I do bring these, but I try not to use those. I try to use the, the, the melee more. So yeah, pretty good money. You can go ahead and sell off all this loot now. Yeah. All right, so this is most of the loot from all of the spoils of war that we've opened. Only thing I'm missing is two daggers, two dragon daggers, four cabbages, and one bones. So let's go ahead and sell off all this loot and see how much money we have after selling everything off. So as you can see, it is quite a bit of supplies. If you are an Iron Man, I do recommend checking out this mini game because it's pretty fun. And as you can see, you can get a lot of other stuff. We had so much pure essence, it was kind of ridiculous. All right, just waiting on the blood runes to come through and then we'll be done selling off everything. And there it is. So. After selling everything off, we are left with about 15.7 mil, so not bad. Not the greatest moneymaker, but still, it's nice to get something back from uh, participating in Soul Wars for that long, so still, I'll take it. If you were interested in the gear setup that I used, um, this is pretty much it. I went with the full Justicar, or Justiciar armor. And I also brought, of course, the Armadale Crossbow for range, the Dense Bulwark for tanking. This definitely came in handy because I got focused so much. And Dragon Claws for the spec because the Dragon Claws just shred through most people. So overall, I'd rate this as a fun experience, mainly because I got lucky with the drop. We were under 200 crates, so that was nice to get it. Like I said, it's a fun mini game, but it just gets kind of repetitive and I was pretty much happy to get that early on and get out of there. But we have the pet, we can put him in our house and even while he's in the house, he wants to follow me. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe even a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you.